Okay, so here we have question number seven from June 2014, S1, the legacy paper, not the IAL paper, the legacy paper. And we're it's a question about normal distribution. The heights of adult females are normally distributed with a mean of 160 and standard deviation of 8. So the heights are normally distributed with a mean of 160 centimeters and a standard deviation of 8. Okay, that's how you show that. Right? Okay, that's in there. So find the probability that randomly selected adult female has a height greater than 170. So I'm going to just borrow this ready-made diagram here and put it where I want it in this part. Put it here. Okay, so now, so um, we know that we're trying to f find the value of Z, okay, in the, see, what we have here is a table which represents something which is normally distributed with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Okay, and this tells you basically the area, this tells you the value of Z, which is always greater than zero here. Okay, and this number here tells you the area to the left of that value of Z. So for example, supposing Z was one, supposing that's one, okay, and this number here represents the area to the left of that value of Z. Okay, so what we need to do is a couple of things. We need to take the value, we, well we know that this is 160 the mean, the mean is a part in the middle, mean, okay, when it's normally distributed. And it says, find the probability that a randomly selected adult female has a height greater than 170. So we know 170 is somewhere over here, it's to the right, 160 of course, bigger than. It. So we want to find the probability that random selected, randomly selected female has a height greater than 170. So we want to find basically the, the area here, but not in this um, in this um, graph. We want to have it when we have the mean as zero, and we want to work out what this is. Okay, we have to standardize this. To standardize this, you use z equals. I mean, that's the z. That's the value you want to find here. Equals the value we have minus the mean. Okay, minus the mean, which is given the symbol mu, over the standard deviation, which is given the single uh, the the symbol sigma. Okay, so you've got x which is uh, 170 minus 160 over 8. Okay, so it's 170 minus the mean over the standard deviation which is 8. Okay, so that gives you 10 divided by 8 which is 5 over 4 which is 1.25. Okay, that's 10 divided by 8 which is 1.25. Okay, so the value of z here is 1.25. That's the value of Z. So we want to find the probability, basically, that the, the height was greater than 170. Okay, that's what we had to find. And we worked out that that's the same as finding the probability that Z is greater than, we said, 170 minus 160 over 8. Okay, which is the same as the probability that Z is greater than 1.25. Okay, now... The problem with this is if I go to the Z value for 1.25, okay, 1.25, go down, then this value here is not the area to the right of that value of Z, it's the area to the left of the value of Z. Okay, so if I go to 1.25, the table will tell me the area to the left of 1.25. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to find the area to the right of it which is the total area, the total probability is 1. So what I want to do is 1 minus the probability that Z is less than 1.25. Okay, which is 1 minus, and then we can take that value that we, we saw. 1.25, if we go down, uh, 1.25, you can see it's 0 0.8944. 0 0.8944, okay? So we have 0 0.8944. 
and you can then just write down what the value is, which is 1 minus that. Okay, 1 minus 0 0.8944. Let's make sure that's correct, yes. That gives you 0 0.1056. 0 0.1056 and there's part A answered okay um, that's part A done now we're going to do part B in the next part of the in the next video okay and then we'll, we'll do the rest of the question there